A while back, we showed you how to download a pattern from Thingiverse.com in order to send to us so that we can print a 3D pattern for you. There are other websites that are also available for similar things. Tinkercad is one of those websites. You can go to Tinkercad.com and look and see what they have to offer. To use Tinkercad, you do need to set up your own account. It's free to use, but it does require you to start an account and create a new password. Once you have created a password and get into the Tinkercad website, you will see lots of options. Let's go to gallery first. They have pre-existing patterns already made that you can download and print. They also have lots of tools that you can use to create your own pattern from scratch. Let's search for what they have for Baby Yoda. Ah, it looks like they have lots of options. That's cool. So I've selected to look at this Yoda coin. Right here you'll see it says copy and tinker, and then also download. So if you want to do some kind of modification to this pattern, you can download and the copy and tinker it, or you can just download the pattern straight up. So let's go ahead and copy and tinker, and we'll see what we can do to change it a little bit. So this is a tricky angle, so I'm going to click on here to give us a more front-on view of our item. So I'm going to click on it, make sure it's selected. I'm going to just stretch it a little bit, see how it looks bigger. So you can stretch it there, you can make it a very strange oblong shape, you can alter it however you want. I kind of like the way it is, so I don't really want to alter it too much. I did want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on export. So I'm going to download it as an OBJ. In the left corner, you can see that it downloaded. The next step will be to email this pattern to PVPL teams. So we're going to go to Gmail. And go ahead and tell me in the subject line what it is. So Baby Yoda. 3D design. And what do you want me to do with it? You would like me to print it. So please print. Thank you. And then press send. So from here, you can either choose to continue to alter this pattern, maybe change some different functions of it, or you can go ahead and select a different pattern or design your own pattern from scratch. If you're interested in designing your own pattern from scratch, there is a wonderful tutorial that you can look at that will show you all of the different tools that Tinkercad has to offer. Go to this link so that you can find that video.